Good evening and welcome to the City Council meeting for Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. We are glad you're with us tonight. Thank you for coming. We have some special guests that please come in and have find a seat. We'll get going here with our meeting. We're on a we're on TV, so we have to keep a schedule. That's the reason why we have to get started. So thank you for being with us. As we normally do, we will start in just a minute with a moment of silence and our Pledge of Allegiance, and then we'll have some other recognitions that we'll get to. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll get started with the meeting. So please rise for a moment of silence and remain standing for our Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. We salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As we get started this evening, first I would like to uh, uh, recognize our newest member of our um, city staff but she's been with us a good while but she is now in a different job our planning director miss hannah williams mrs hannah williams is here hannah stand up and <laughs> <laughs> hannah has been with our planning department for a number of years has been an assistant planner and uh, a number of other things and has been our interim planning director for uh, several uh, months now and now has been moved to the new Director of Planning, and we are glad to have you, Hannah. Thank you for all you do and appreciate your hard work and look forward to working with you. And we also look forward to this uh, new new baby that's coming soon. So <laughs> congratulations on that as well. A lot of good things happening in the Williams household right now. And also tonight we have uh, a couple of special guests with us that uh, we're going to recognize, and I'm going to uh, bring uh, uh, Katie and Tommy up first to come up with us. Uh, Katie and Taylor Brummett and Jamie and Tommy Brubaker of uh, Liquid Roots Brewing Project of Lenore are our Main Street champions for 2022. They were recognized last week in Statesville at the uh, North Carolina Main Street Conference uh, as our champions, and we're honored that they uh, uh, are representing us so well. They did a wonderful job. The video was fantastic. Uh, I'll, hopefully all the council will get a chance to see the the uh, video that was shown at that, on that. Kaylin and Matthew, thank you all for your hard work on putting all that together. And we're also excited that we won a Main Street Award this year, which has been like our eighth or ninth over the last 10? Nine. 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 <laughs> thank you. Nine in the last three or four years. And we're excited about that. But uh, we were selected as for a, a Best Economic Recovery Initiative. This is what was for pivots, participation, and patronage, PBPPP, with digital platform initiatives. And Matthew, I know, was behind that, KON both. And thank you all for that. It was a great award, and we were honored to be that. So if you will, I'm going to ask you guys to come up, and we're going to uh, shoot some pictures with, our, with the awards, with our award winners, and Matthew and, and KON and the council, if we can. Everybody be close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a couple with the flash, a couple without. Everybody smile, big smiles. One, two, three, cheese. And 
And tonight we also have another uh, couple of uh, special presentations. Uh, in just a minute, I'm going to recognize Tracy Trimble to come up and join me at the podium in just a minute. Uh, Tracy is involved with the Western Piedmont Sister Cities Association, and this year is their 30th anniversary. So we are doing a proclamation in honor of 30 years of uh, sister cityhood and, uh, and the relationship uh, that, we, that we've had. And tonight, on top of that, we have a great thing. We have uh, a group of students that are coming to visit High Brighton High School from Germany. And we're honored to have you guys back with us again. Uh, I know some uh, students came over several years ago, and we'll let uh, uh, Mr. Sandrillon tell us about that and everything in just a few minutes. But first, I'm going to do the proclamation with Tracy, and then we will recognize everyone else. So, <laughs> lot, lot going on. <laughs> Tracy, thank you for, for joining us and, and for what you do with uh, the Sister Cities organization. 30 years, that's quite, a, quite an accomplishment. This resolution is honoring 30-year anniversary of the Western Piedmont Sister Cities Association. Whereas Western Piedmont Sister Cities Association became an official nonprofit organization on March the 24th, 1993, representing Alexander, Burke, Caldwell, and Catawba counties as well as the municipalities within those counties. And whereas the Western Piedmont Sister Cities Association chose to pursue a sister cities relationship with Altenburger land region in Germany due to the area's strong culture and business ties to that country. And whereas in 1997, the WPSCA made international history becoming the first ever region to region member of the Sister Cities International and whereas 2023 marks the 30 year anniversary between the Western Piedmont Sister Cities Association and the Altenburger land region in Germany. And whereas during the past 30 years, there have been countless in-person exchanges, programs, and official delegation visits between the two regions, including high school and sports exchanges, government and business exchanges, arts and cultural exchanges, and the community service projects. And whereas the WSCA, WPSCA plans to celebrate their 30 year anniversary throughout 2023 and encourages mayors, commissioners, and leaders representing our four county region to donate items to be placed in a time capsule commemorating the anniversary. And whereas representatives from Altenburger Land will be visiting this region during Oktoberfest this year to honor and celebrate their partnership with the WPSCA. And whereas WSP, WPSCA <laughs> will bury the time capsule at the Western Piedmont Council of Government's property during the Alton Burger Land Delegation's official visit. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, as mayor, and on behalf of the City Council of Lenore and all citizens, do hereby congratulate the Western Piedmont Sister Cities Association on their 30 year anniversary and encourage our citizens to support and participate in all activities connected with this special year of celebration. Thank you. You're very welcome, very welcome. I present you this. Also, we have the items to present to you. We have a uh, City of Lenore flag that we would like to present to you. A couple of our city coins. This has our city seal on it and our new uh, seal, uh, the, the uh, Lenore on these two and our All-America City Seal is on that. These, these as well to you. And then uh, several of our lapel pins, our flag and our city seal lapel pins to go in the uh, time capsule. So, Tracy, I'll, I'll turn the mic over if you'd like to speak a minute. Let me take this. Let me. 
Thank you so much for allowing us to speak today and for honoring um, the 30-year partnership. Uh, we are hoping to get the partnership restarted um, post-COVID with High Brighton uh, exchanges. So we're working with Sasha on that and also um, Jim Probst with, um, with his group. So we are hoping to get that initiated this next um, school season. And we have, as the mayor mentioned, we have exchanges that range from education to cultural exchanges to, um, you know, we're trying to also get a, a beer exchange for the Oktoberfest, uh, which seems to interest people, um, but arts and, and um, municipalities and government um, exchanges. So we just want everybody to participate and understand that it is the four counties. A lot of people think that it's just the Hickory area, and that's not the case. Um, in fact, most of the exchanges from the high school side come from um, this area. So we look forward to revamping that relationship and. Thank you very much, and, Thank you. and I'm sure Sasha will tell a little bit more about the programs that they offer there, but we really appreciate the recognition. Thank you. Thank you. Sasha, we'll do a picture of the population now, or you want to do it with all the students? I'd love to do it with Sasha and the students. Okay. Well, then we'll um, that works for me. We'll introduce them, if you mind, okay. and we'll do that. We'll let you okay. sit right here, and then we'll, okay. we'll do that. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll invite uh, uh, Mr. Sandal if you'll come up and, and join me here. And then I'm going to let you do some introductions and all that. We're glad to have you. It's been a, a while since we've been able to do this. So we're honored to uh, have you back and have the, the students from Germany. You told me, I think, where they're from. So you're going to have to remind me of all that because uh, we were going to catch up, but y'all walked in. We were getting ready to start the meeting, so I didn't have a chance to do that. But if you will, kind of tell us that, and then we'll inter let everybody introduce themselves to us and uh, uh, the teachers and all that, and then we'll shoot some pictures if that's okay. Yeah, sounds but we're good. glad to have you. All right. All right, so we have a GAP program at Habraten and at Stegen, BBC Stegen, and my partner is Gregor Fitter. He can actually come and join me already. Yeah, please yeah. do. Yeah, because we do this together, and um, and then he has his colleague here uh, for this year, um, Svea Beiser as well. You can also come and join us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so what we've been able to do uh, the last four years, we've been trying to get back together, and it's finally come to pass that we can join again because uh, of COVID being an issue. Um, but we're finally back, and um, what GAP is, it's called the German-American Partnership Program, and uh, it's funded by Germany and the uh, United States, and we've been um, blessed to have funding from both places this time. We both got some um, stop-ins to help fund these, these programs, so like today, we got to see a big time cultural heritage thing, uh, the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Oh, great. <laughs> and so we were trying to think about something that we could introduce the Germans to that would be particular to North Carolina. And that was a great fit. We just really had a good time with that. And then uh, later this week, hopefully, we'll eat some good barbecue, but also also some, uh, some, some things from Germany that, of course, because it's supposed to be an exchange, OK? And the last thing that um, I would like to say is I'm just really thankful for this community. Uh, there's so many people that have stepped up to be a host to these uh, children. And, um, you know, it really enriches the whole community. Yeah, Mr. Stevens, you're one of them. I appreciate that. Um, that I feel like it enriches the Habraten community when these kids can come and it's just, they, they learn so much from one another, um, but that wouldn't be possible without the families that live here. So I'm really thankful for that. And I'm also thankful for Mayor Gibbons always inviting us and always uh, giving us a, a voice here to where we can uh, you know, spread the word about this program because it's, uh, it's been 10 years now. Yeah, it's an anniversary. So we're also celebrating yeah. uh, not just 30 years <laughs> with the sister cities, um, but also 10 years that we've been doing this, uh, Habraten and yeah. Stegen. It's the last COVID. <clears throat> so, yeah, thank you. Thank you.
Um, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mayor Gibbons and everyone else. And also, I would like to thank the families especially, because there are a couple of families that have been hosting our kids for many years now. And um, like we really cannot do it without the families. So I really appreciate that you're all very open and uh, you show the hospitality. And of course, uh, you make the students feel at home in your places. And I'm really very thankful for that, that you're doing that again and again. And um, yes, we we'll always have a good time here. And I love to come back again. As I was saying, and uh, Mr. Sandlin was saying, this is our 10 year anniversary. So we're happy that we are, could make it. The COVID situation was very bad for all of us. And we weren't sure whether we could come this year or the year before. And it was trying to do it again and again. But finally, now we could come. And um, it's a very great place. And um, I really like that we have that partnership going for 10 years now. And of course, I hope that we will keep doing it, keep continuing it in the future. And uh, Maya Gibbons, I also have a little present for you from the Black Forest. Um, this is a typical Black Forest hat. It's not a hat, it's a magnet, of course, but it's okay. a symbol. And <laughs> <laughs> this is chocolate from Switzerland, which is nearby. Uh, our, our region is pretty close, actually. And then it's a notepad and a like hand from our school. Okay, that's celebrated the 50 years of the recently. Thank you very much. Very Thank honored you to do that. And we have some, some gifts for, for you guys as well. This oh. is our uh, flag that you can take back and display. Thank you. And I've seen <coughs> coin and lapel pin for you. Thank you so much. And one for you as well. And I have one for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can display this at, uh, at, at Hot Riding for us. So. Right. And then we have some gifts for, we have a lapel pin for all the kids. Oh, that wow. we would like for them to have. Our, this is our flag uh, pin that we'd like for them if they want to, they can put it on and wear it or whatever they do. So why don't you guys, uh, if you want to, come up, introduce yourself, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll give you a pin while you're up here and everybody can, can meet you guys. So if you will, just give, tell everybody your name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right there, right there. Um, hello, my name is Lisa, and yeah, of course, I'm from Germany. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. My name is Marlene. I'm 18 years old, and I'm also from Germany. I'm Marion, and I'm from the Black Forest. This house is part of Germany. That's where all the good ham comes from. My name is Elric. I'm 70 years old and I'm from hmm, the region I want to the wine. Oh, the wine. Thank you. Where the My name is also Lisa. I'm 19. I'm, I'm from the near of the border of Luxembourg. It's really far away from Germany, from Freiburg. Thank you very much. Glad to have you. Hello, my name is Kolan and I'm 18 years old and I'm from Stuttgart, that's also in the southern of Germany. There you are. Thank you, welcome. Well, my name is Svenja, I also come from Stuttgart in Germany and I'm 18 years old. Thank, Thank you. you, glad to have you. Hello, my name is Noemi and I'm coming from a small town in the, of the Black Forest. Thank you, glad to have you here. Hello, I'm Felix, and I come from Ludwigsburg. Yeah. Thank you, sir. My name is Noah. I'm 18. I come from Frankfurt in the northern region. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name <coughs> is Toby. I'm from uh, Stegen, in Germany, close by to the school, and I'm really grateful for this opportunity and experiences I've got tonight. Wonderful. Wonderful. We're glad to have you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, if you can, you would like to shoot a picture? Yes. Yeah. All, all you guys and, and Tracy oh, and the council. So we no, should stay up here. Yeah, 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 we'll have to be up here now. We'll have to be up here. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 
Oh, really? One of my, one of them, oh, I know. <laughs> I know his I know his hit. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, Come up to the bar. I can do that. Yeah, we come up to the bar. I can do that. Everybody jumped on that one. It's a bar. Move in like you love. You want the kids to move over a little bit? You want us to slide right? All right. My son is off. There you go. There we go. Everybody that can see you, you yeah, can see Yeah, you come up in front. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> now she can't see her. <laughs> you can come up too, because you're almost to the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody seeing me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Chrissy, I kinda, you're kind of, go, go to your right a little bit. Kent, you go to your right a little bit too. Ralph, you go to your there, okay? I think that's about as good as still. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody smile. One, two, three, cheese. 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 All right, I'm going to get crazy. Everybody stay where you are. Nobody move. She wants to. Hopefully, you're right here. Ready to kneel down? You're good. You want us out? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think this time I'll kiss you on the cheek. See how that All right. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Chrissy, I've lost you. Come go to the right One, two, three. You drew without a flash. Ready? Thank you. I, drift, I was drifting the wrong way, I guess. I thought I was drifting the right way. Let's get the beer in the bar. Some of the uh, parents that are staying with are here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, David and Dharma have done when the students stay there. Who do you have? Uh, Who's your student? We have the uh, Alm family. Which one's Lisa? Lisa. Y'all stand up. There's the Alm family. In the green. Front, 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 Beige. Oh, she the Yeah, the heights. Yeah. The heights. I started saying Rebecca there. Yeah. Rebecca was there. Yeah. 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 You share this? Yeah, share all those gifts. I'll share them. They're right there. We'll share. Pass that chocolate around. Again, thank you all. We're glad to have you. I hope you enjoy your uh, your time here. You're here for over a week. Is that what I understand? Right. Uh, yeah, great. Great. Thank if we can help you with anything else, please let us know. We'll be glad to to uh, meet with you at any time. So just uh, keep us posted on how's everything going. Thank you, families of Lenore that are that are hosting them. We certainly appreciate you you doing that, and uh, I know they'll. Enjoy their stays uh, with us. Got to show them all kind of uh, good love here in Lenore while, while they're here on that. And uh, so thank you all for being with us. All right, we will move on then on our, our council agenda here. The, uh, we don't have any matters for public hearings this evening, so we'll move on to our consent agenda items, which consist of minutes of the uh, budget retreat of Friday, February 24th, as submitted. We have uh, a renewal. This is a sidewalk cafe permit. This would be for approval of a sidewalk uh, uh, cafe permit for Side Street Four House um, with the following conditions carried forth from the original um, approval. That would be one, the applicant must coordinate with the city's public works director prior to modifying or in installing any support structures for lights or awnings or modifying any enclosure fencing. Item two is string lights installed over the sidewalk cafe are limited to white, non-blinking lights. 
Item three are all provisions of section 13-3, subsection C shall continue to apply to the use and operations of the sidewalk cafe area. And item four is current copy of the certificate of liability insurance, naming the city as a certificate holder must be provided to the planning department. Those go with that one. Then item C is the, uh, this is a purchase. This is a refuge truck. A recommendation is the council authorize the purchaser the purchase of a uh, 2024 Freightliner M2106 Howl Durapack 5000 25 cubic yard heavy duty compaction rear loading refuge truck by resolution at a cost of $228,818.73 and the utilization of the competitive bidding group purchasing exception. Item D is the uh, W uh, Western Piedmont Council of Government Stormwater Partnership. This is a re contract renewal uh, between the Western Piedmont Council of Governments and the City of Lenore for assistance in supporting the Western Piedmont Stormwater Partnership for July 1 of 2023 through June 30th through 2025. This is at a cost of $110,724. And item E is a Western Piedmont Council of Government Storm Water Mapping Agreement. This would be for the approval between the, the WPCOG and the City of Lenore for the provision of storm water utility mapping services at a fee not to exceed $183,044. That's your items A through E. I'll open it up for any uh, questions or comments. Oh, we do have one other one, I think, don't we, Shirley? Uh, yes, that resolution we gave to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the resolution that we presented to the uh, Sister Cities Association would be item F on that, if you will, please. Make right. a motion to approve consent agenda, adding item F. Thank you. I have a motion from Council Member uh, Purdue to uh, approve the consent agenda items A through F as presented. No other question. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed. Thank you. We'll now move to uh, request and petitions of any citizens. If there's anyone who would like to address the council tonight, other than all of us that are already with us and already have, <laughs> if there's anyone else that would like to, uh, to address the council, now is the time to do so. And not seeing anyone. We do not have reports of our boards and commissions this evening, so we'll move on to the report and recommendations of our city manager, Mr. Hildebrand. Uh, Mr. Mayor of Council, just a few items tonight for information. The uh, Foothills Regional Airport Authority will meet on Wednesday, March 29th at noon at the airport. Uh, the National League of Cities Congressional City Conference will be held starting Saturday, March 25th in Washington, D.C. and run through March 28th, which is a Tuesday. Attending will be Mayor Pro Tem Christy Thomas, City Attorney Rohr, and myself. Then the committee, the whole meeting for next Tuesday, March 28th, has been canceled, and our next meeting will be on Thursday, March 30th, for a budget meeting at 8.30 a.m. Third Floor City Hall. And with that, that's all I have, unless there's questions. Any questions of Mr. Hildebrand? So the next meeting is scheduled for Thursday, March 30th. 8.30 a.m. Yeah, okay. All right, there's no items for council action. All right, we'll move on then to uh, any reports and recommendations of our city attorney, Mr. Roar. No, sir. Okay, thank you. you behave yourself in Washington, if you will. That's going to be hard, so I'll got, try. I, I think we'll be up there at the end of the cherry blossoms. <laughs> Enjoy the cherry blossoms. Yes. Please. All right, <clears throat> and I don't have any report from the, the mayor's office. I don't, I'm trying to think if I'm missing something I need to talk about. I know that uh, I wanted to, did want to say, and we talked about it earlier, the uh, uh, Main Street Conference in Statesville was a great, uh, great uh, conference. A lot of great things there. We enjoyed that. Statesville did a great job of hosting it, and um, we appreciate the representation uh, of everyone there. Mr. Hildebrand and I drove back and forth uh, to that uh, to, to be involved, and we had some, Kaylin and, and Matthew both did some, were part of several of the uh, uh, things that they do, the, the uh, uh, sessions that they do over there and we appreciate their involvement there so it was a, a good event there all right and uh, we'll uh, any reports of any recommendations of the city council members anybody have anything to bring up mr. Perkins no sir I'm good to go. you good to go thank you for asking. <laughs> always don't want to leave you out ever <laughs> all right if there's nothing else to come before us tonight we got a short meeting 
We stand adjourned.